Good Wednesday evening, Southeast Texas. Severe thunderstorm watch in effect till 7 p.m. That could be uh, uh, extended regardless. It looks like some storms coming up tonight. That's in advance of an Arctic cold front coming on in. So we'll drop into the low to mid 40s by morning and further fall into the upper 30s and lower 40s with wind chills in the mid to upper 20s. It's going to be windy and cold coming up on Thursday. Friday could see wind chills into the low to mid 20s with actual lows in the mid 20s to lower 30s, not getting out of the 50s. Uh, 40s and 50s coming up Friday. Saturday also looks chilly across the area with uh, likely seeing uh, temperatures in the mid to upper 20s. That's the morning we're going to have to watch uh, for the hard freeze here in the triangle. Saturday morning looks like the coldest, but there could be three mornings of a hard freeze up in the lakes area. So take care of all of the four P's. Cold front reaching the lakes area by about 9 p.m. tonight and in the triangle 11 to midnight. Then after that passes, that'll put to bed the chances for severe weather as cold Arctic air starts draining into our area. So we'll start off in the low to mid 40s across the area and continue to fall. We may level out for a while before falling uh, by 5 p.m. I'm going into the uh, upper 30s to uh, lower 40s. It could be colder than what I have showing up here on modeling. Be prepared. It's going to be a cold, wintry day across southeast Texas. Wind chills tomorrow morning, mid to upper 20s to near 30. And as far as the wintry mix, the light wintry mix that we've been saying there was a potential for, that seems to have been flushed out into the Gulf of Mexico. This is the graph model. It doesn't show any ice accumulations, all rain on the NAM. No ice accumulations uh, Thursday night into Friday. The Euro model, no ice accumulations, just uh, cold rain on the coast. GFS shows a hundredth of an inch. So it looks like chances are pretty low. And it does not look like uh, it's going to be a, much of an issue across the area. doesn't mean that we don't, won't see anything, but I don't think it's going to be much of an issue. On the Gulf of Mexico, a small craft advisory is in effect and a gale watch in effect for Thursday. Probably become a warning. Seas uh, building 3 to 5 feet with north winds 20 to 25 knots. Our forecast tonight, 70 to 80 percent coverage of evening showers and thunderstorms. Winds will shift to the north with the cold front and then turning colder and windy. By the time you wake up in the morning, should be in the lower 40s lakes, mid 40s in the triangle. Then tomorrow, you saw modeling. It could be colder than what I have. I have upper 30s and lower 40s, but it could be a lot colder than that. Maybe the mid 30s by, say, 5, 6, 7 p.m. tomorrow night. So uh, bundle up. Next couple of days look awfully cold. Looks like a hard freeze up in the lakes, near freezing here in the triangle, right at freezing, and staying in the 40s on Friday. Saturday will be the coldest here in the triangle. Another hard freeze up in the lakes. We're talking 23, 24 up that way. The lakes area Sunday morning, probably the mid-20s, near freezing here in the Triangle. But as you can see, the weekend, more sun, highs upper 40s to mid-50s. Then as we head towards Monday, another round of rain has the potential in the forecast. Severe not expected, heavy rain at this point not expected. That moves off to the east. And then we're left with a chilly forecast by Wednesday of next week. Download our app. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com.